Have you ever had a cold? What about the nasty flu? If you have, you probably know the terrible feeling that accompanies being sick. Coughing, headaches, throwing up. Now all of those things are just absolutely terrible. So what exactly causes all of these terrible feelings? Germs, that's what. These icky, icky invaders are so small and sneaky that you don't even know they're in your body until you get symptoms. In fact, they're so small that you need a microscope to see them. That's why they're also called microorganisms. Germs can be split into four main categories. Bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. Bacteria are small, single-celled organisms that receive nutrients from their environments. Sometimes, that environment just happens to be your body. These small buggers cause infections like sore throats, pneumonia, like that terrible cough you got last winter, and ear infections. Not to fear, though. Scientists such as Alexander Fleming have gone long lengths to cure many of these bacterial infections. But not all bacteria are bad. In fact, many are actually good for your bodies. For example, some bacteria live in your intestines and help you use the nutrients in the food you eat. That way, you can make the most out of a healthy meal. Next are viral infections. Now, these are a little trickier. Viruses are also small organisms like bacteria, but that's where the similarities end. Viruses use your body to replicate copies of themselves because they cannot live independently on their own. When this happens, your body cells now belong to the virus. That's why it's harder to cure some viral infections than bacterial infections. Viruses cause the flu, yuck, chickenpox, and many other icky diseases. Now, unlike bacteria and viruses, Fungi are multi-celled organisms, and they're sort of like plants, except for one big difference. Fungi can't get their nutrition from soil, water, and air. Instead, they consume dead animals, plants, and other natural waste products. You can often find these strange little organisms in damp, warm places. They just love it there. But no worries, kiddos. Many fungi are not dangerous to healthy people, just a bit annoying. Fungi can cause problems such as athlete's foot. You know, that itchy rash teens and adults sometimes get between their toes. The last kind of germs are protozoa. You're looking at a bad bunch here. Protozoa are single-celled organisms, like bacteria, and they're real fond of watery, moist environments. For example, your body. These sneaky bad guys will spread diseases through the wet environment and can give you intestinal problems that lead to diarrhea, nausea, and belly pain. Now that's not fun. So now we know that germs are tiny microorganisms that can be grouped into four main categories. Bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. We also know that while some bacteria and fungi are not necessarily bad, a lot of germs will make you sick. When they enter your body, they make themselves at home. They use up your nutrients and energy to create toxins that will make you sick. It is important that you prevent yourself from getting those nasty symptoms that germs can cause. Since most germs can spread through the air, be aware of who's around you and cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. And remember the golden rule. Wash your hands. That's the best way to prevent germs from spreading. Another way to stay safe from germs is to get vaccines. I know, I know, you don't like shots. But these shots will prevent you from getting some deadly diseases. So do all your best to stay clear of germs. You may get sick once in a while, but in the long run, you'll stay healthy.